Few things are more fundamental to your success on the tennis court than eye-hand coordination. Being able to feel your hand and the racket face working together, being aware of where your racket is facing, and also having some touch and some feel with how you maneuver the racket. And so those are all things you can work on at home, just in your living room. All you need is a tennis racket and a tennis ball, or frankly, any kind of ball. And so here's a quick routine that you can follow just a couple minutes a day to improve your awareness of what the racket is doing, improve your touch and your feel, and improve your overall ability to be able to line up the racket with the ball on all of your different shots. So let's start off with some really basic just bumps and taps. I'm gonna begin with three forehands and then three backhands. All that means is literally the front of your hand and the back of your hand to tap the ball. So I'm gonna go with three forehands followed by three backhands. And your goal here is try to hit the same height and ball placement shot after shot, which you may find is a bigger challenge than what you, what you might think. And the big key here is just being mindful of the angle of the racket face. A few degrees of pitch, one direction or the other, forwards or backwards, and the ball will float off, off center. And then the other thing to be mindful of is the firmness that you're hitting with your hand. The more you squeeze down and clench down, the more the ball is going to rebound off the racket. So finding a consistent firmness and then a consistent racket face is the combination of things that you want to be able to accomplish. And flipping back and forth makes that really tricky. So next, what I want you to do is toss the ball up about head height, and what you're gonna do is track down with the ball, with your racket, and cradle the ball on your strings. So what we're doing now is moving the racket with the ball and softly, gently decelerating the racket, I'm sorry, the, the ball, so that it comes to a rest on the strings without bouncing or vibrating. When you do it incorrectly, if you don't come down smoothly with the ball and you just kind of like put your racket underneath the ball, then the ball is gonna bounce. So the only way to not have it bounce is to move the racket at the same speed as the ball and then slow the ball down onto your strings. And this is great for racket face awareness, it's great for coordination, and it's great for touch and feel because hitting a drop volley or a drop shot, this very much has that same kind of feel of absorbing energy. And having a relaxed hand here is super important too. So after you do a bunch of forehands, you can do the same thing on your backhand side and just smoothly track down with the ball and cradle underneath it to slow it down smoothly onto your racket strings. And then you can start to alternate back and forth between forehands and backhands. If you're in a house that has a higher ceiling than this, then the next progression is to toss the ball higher. Then it starts to come down faster and it's more difficult to get it to completely smoothly stop on the strings. And that's your goal is to basically Cradle the ball so you don't feel anything, you don't feel any vibration coming through to your hand. And it's really difficult when you give the ball, you know, six, eight, ten feet of height to catch it and make it completely smooth. But that's your homework. I want you to go through this quick sequence of taps on both sides and then catches on both sides. Record a quick video of yourself doing this and post it online. Show us that you're working hard on your game at home just like we are. When you post it online, tag Essential Tennis and also add the hashtag home tennis. And we'll be doing the same thing. Myself, Kevin, Megan, we're gonna be moving through these daily drills as well. We're really excited to see your execution. We hope it's a huge help to your game. Thank you for watching.